Coyote Raid in Cactus Canyon by Jim Arnosky. It was a hot and windless desert day. On the canyon slopes, cactuses stood tall against the blue sky. High up in the arms of the tallest cactus, a wren was busy making her nest. Down on the stone-covered ground, a cottontail hopped softly. Quail moved noiselessly behind green and purple prickly pears. An antelope squirrel perched on top of a cactus log to nibble a fallen desert flower. All was peaceful in the canyon, but the mood was about to change. The coyote gang was coming and they were bringing trouble. Ornery and full of mischief, four young coyotes headed down the rocky slope to the canyon floor. They sniffed out the cottontail and chased him into a thorny thicket. They barked the cactus wren until she flew from her nest. When they could not find any other animals to chase or frighten, the coyotes turned and faced each other. Slowly, the four young coyotes circled, watching one another's every move. The wren flew to the top of the prickly pear to see the coyote standoff. The cottontail and squirrel peeked out from their hiding places, and the quail gathered close together to watch as one. Suddenly, the coyotes rushed one another and began to brawl, snarling and snapping their jaws. They tumbled right on top of a rattlesnake slithering by. The startled snake quickly coiled and rattled. The coyotes froze, their eyes fixed on the huge snake. She was ready to strike. The four coyotes backed away until they felt safe and brave again. Then they growled and barked and showed the snake their own sharp fangs. But the snake held their ground and struck out at the coyote gang. The four coyotes turned and ran, disappearing over the canyon rim. The rattlesnake slithered on her way. The quail settled back down. The cottontail hopped quietly. The antelope squirrel found another fallen cactus flower to nibble. And the wren flew back to the arms of the tallest cactus, carrying a fuzzy clump of coyote fur for her nest. The canyon was peaceful again. The end.